Good morning, it's Alyssa from RomeWise, your go-to guide to Rome. I am here today at Ted Mini Station with Alessandro. We are heading off to Naples for a two and a half day trip. I recently did a video for you guys about a day trip to Naples from Rome, which is absolutely wonderful and very easy to do. But if you have time, I wanna show you why you should consider making Naples its own destination. Many people think of Naples as a stopping off point for heading off to Pompeii, Capri, Sorrento, or other places on the Amalfi Coast, but Naples is amazing and it really deserves its own visit. Naples is just one hour from Rome by train, but it is like entering another world. Everything is so different there, the colors, the architecture, the food, the sounds. I just love it. There is so much to see and do in Naples. So without further ado, we're gonna head over there and I'm gonna show you why you should consider putting Naples on your itinerary. Ready? Let's go. Okay, we have arrived in Naples. We caught the 9.30 train from Rome, got here at 10.45, a little bit leisurely, checked into our hotel, and then came over here to Cafe Gambrinus, which is right here in Piazza del Plebiscito. It's an icon. So we had a quick bite to eat and some yummy Naples coffee, and now we have decided to visit the Palazzo Reale, the Royal Palace. It is a museum. There are so many museums here in Naples, so you've got to take your pick on a two and a half day visit. So we're gonna start with the Palazzo Reale. Let's go check it out. Well, Palazzo Reale was pretty amazing and a really intense visit. You do need a couple of hours, actually, I think three more or less, if you want to visit the Hanging Gardens, which we did. Hey guys, this is the famous frittatina di, di Matteo, over here. <laughs> and it's a fried, let's see, pasta, bechamel, peas, and prosciutto. So, bucatini. Ah, uh, bucatini. Yeah. That's the pasta in here. Can't wait. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. You guys, this is beyond delicious. It's just deliciousness in a bite. Oh, it is just heaven in a pocket. I, I can't even recommend this highly enough. You should come to Naples just to eat this. Okay, time for a little break. We have come to Scaturchio, which is another one of the very famous places in Naples for sfogliatelle. 
and we are having one of each, a riccia and a frolla. Riccia means like very flaky pastry and the frolla is a sort of smooth pastry on the outside. They're both filled with a ricotta filling that has little candied orange peel in there. So take a look. You guys, what a day. <laughs> it's been really full and wonderful, but exhausting. And we are stopping here at Di Matteo to have some pizza. I had some fried pizza earlier today as a snack. That was perfect. Yes, this is a carb-filled trip, but when in Napoli. So gonna have some yummy pizza here and call it a night, because tomorrow is our last day and it's gonna be a big one. morning it is our last day here in Naples we're heading back to Rome this afternoon and today we are dedicating to the archaeological museum of Naples this museum is where they house all of the art sculpture artifacts mosaics <laughs> that they found in Pompeii so when you visit Pompeii you're gonna see what's called the scavi which are the excavations of this historic city but this museum is where everything that was found there is held and you can really get a sense of the history of this area from this museum. It is one of the world's most renowned archeological museums and I have a feeling knowing us that we are gonna be spending pretty much the entire morning there. So I'll just show you some of the most important pieces as we go through. We are in the Archaeological Museum here in Naples and as soon as we walked in the door we were met by some licensed tour guides who offered us a tour. I have in the past done a tour with a guide and it's incredible and I really, really, really recommend it. You will get so much more out of this visit. If you don't want to do a tour, by all means um, use the audio guides or even just the written information, but there is so much to see here. This museum is vast. Give yourself a full day if you can, um, minimum two or, two or three hours. That is a wrap. We have spent two and a half wonderful days in Naples. Definitely consider visiting Naples as its own destination. Check out some of my other trip videos that I've done about Naples, also about Florence and other places you can visit near Rome. Subscribe and we will see you at the next video. Ciao for now.